sunshine on Leith. That must mean only one thing, the Edinburgh Derby at Easter Road. Hello, I'm Tom Bushell, and here on the Planet Playground YouTube channel, I explore destinations through sport and adventure, because our planet is our playground. This week, I'm in the Leith area of Edinburgh to showcase to you the Edinburgh Derby at the home of Hibernian FC. So if you love your sunshine, great food, things to do in Edinburgh, and a brilliant derby to attend, keep watching. I would love you to subscribe. It really does help the Planet Playground channel. Please do like the video, and of course, comment below with any questions as well. My Edinburgh Derby Day starts in the shore area of Leith, the Dockland suburb of Edinburgh. This is the Fingal. It's one of two floating hotels in Leith, and it is this one where Princess Anne stays when she's in the city of Edinburgh. Along the shore, you'll find the Ocean Mist, the other floating hotel in these parts, as well as plenty of options for incredible food. This is the Michelin star restaurant by Tom Kitchen. It's called The Kitchen and it sits right underneath my kitchen. So I've naturally called my kitchen Tom's Kitchen. Nothing like a bit of competition, is there? Another Michelin star restaurant here, this one by Martin Wishart. And whilst Leith is known for its Docklands and food, it is Leith that is home to Hibernian FC, with the ground nestled into its streets. You can get a great view of Easter Road Stadium from Arthur's seat. Hearts, meanwhile, their city rivals play in the west of the city. The water of Leith is the river that creates the centre point of the shore, and when the sun is shining, it's one of the best locations in Edinburgh to visit. On Saturdays, the market opens from 10am until 4pm, and this morning, the market provides an early omen that it might just be Hibs's day with these barrel lids on display. With an early Saturday afternoon 12.30 kickoff, though, there was no time to waste, so it was a 10 minute stroll westwards away from the shore to Leith Walk, the main street between the centre of Edinburgh and Leith. It's a street where you won't be short of a coffee or a pub. At the time of filming, Edinburgh's tram system is soon to open on Leith Walk, so if you are travelling to a Hibs game, you'll need to get off at Balfour Street. Walk east for a few minutes, and you'll soon be in to the thick of the pre-match atmosphere at a Hibs game. <laughs> How long have you been a Hibs fan? <laughs> All your life, I'd imagine. So essentially, I'm asking what, you, what your age is. <laughs> Near, nearly 70 years. Amazing, amazing. A special day today as well, isn't it? Of course, Derby Day and the sunshine on Leaf today as well. Not just that, we've got to win. And years ago, you have to remember that Hearts tried to buy Hibs and that caused greater animosity. It is a, it is a, it is a, <laughs> it is a match with uh, phenomenal history uh, in a brilliant city. Uh, so enjoy the game today, and I hope, uh, I hope you get what you want. Thank you very much. We hope so too. Before you reach Easter Road Stadium, you'll have a chance to buy your scarf, and in case your pre-match budget didn't stretch to a Michelin star meal, you can get a pizza for two pounds. And here it is, Easter Road Stadium. Easter Road can hold just over 20,000 a match. It was built in 1892 and renovated in 2010. Inside there are of course food options in case your Michelin star lunch and two pound pizza hasn't quite filled you up. What's the reason for coming to not only a Hibs game but a Derby game as well? The atmosphere. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. The atmosphere. It's yeah. Oh, it's, there's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter where you are in the league. Yeah. You could be bottom, you could be top. It doesn't matter. Once we come out on that pitch, that's it, and the crowd, you'll just hear it today. Fantastic. It's a fantastic stadium. The stadium is one of the best in the country. Yeah. So it's definitely worth coming down here, yeah. having a look around. And where would you say the best places to sit in Easter Road? Where would you go to? Well, we, sit. Where we sit. Yeah. In the east. Next to you boys. We sit in the east. <laughs> we sit in the east. Right right in the middle. Halfway, like, that's where I'm like, going yeah, to. Yeah, that's where we are. Yeah, right okay. in the east. 
Easter Roads, East Stand is definitely where you'll find the best of the atmosphere, but there is also a family stand too if that is more for you. Tickets are available for most matches. Details on how to buy them are put in the description below. It was a frantic but frustrating first half for Hibs against their city rivals as they look to end a nine-game winless run in the fixture. With chances going begging and with no goals at half-time, that allows me to take you back to where this football fixture all began. Welcome to the Meadows, a public park just to the south of Edinburgh's city centre. And it is here that the first ever Edinburgh derby between Hibs and Hearts took place. At the bottom of the jawbone path in the park, you'll find this plaque which commemorates the first ever derby. Now it says here that Hibs played in their white shirts and then hearts changed into their white strip. I'm not quite sure how that worked. <laughs> the game was played on Christmas Day in 1875 with a few hundred fans watching on and sticks were used as goalposts. Dread to think what VAR would have been like back then. Still not a bad surface to have a game on, to be fair. <laughs> Fancy a kickabout now. Hearts won the game 1-0, making it a Christmas day to remember. But this was just the start of one of the world's longest-running city derbies. Back at Easter Road and a breakthrough for the home side. And this is what I love about sport. I don't know these people. I've just met them as I sat down to watch the game. But here we are, hugging, laughing and cheering together. I'm not a Hibs supporter either, but it's a joy to celebrate with them as I tell the story of the Edinburgh Derby at their home. There's no better example of how sport brings people and communities together than the celebrations you get when your team scores. The tender 1-0 lead didn't mean a nervous last 20 minutes for Hibs fans, nail-biting at times, and when four minutes of stoppage time was announced and then a Hearts free kick on the edge of the box in the dying seconds, some Hibs fans couldn't bear to watch. Thankfully for them though, the final whistle came and Hibs fans could celebrate their first Derby Day win since 2019. So cue a song that is played at every Hibs game, especially when the sun is shining across Leith and Hibs get the win. They're belting out the Proclaimers and sunshine on Leith. Have a good day for it. So if it's a destination that you are looking for that includes Michelin star restaurants, brilliant pubs, sunshine, history, boutique hotels and a cracking derby, then Easter Road, Leaf and the Edinburgh Derby is for you. Terms and conditions do apply. The sun doesn't always shine on Leaf. There are cheaper food options other than Michelin star restaurants and Hibs don't always win. Thanks for watching this video. For more sport and adventure things to do in Edinburgh and further afield, click the video links now and don't forget to subscribe as I tell the story of our world through sport and adventure because our planet is our playground. Next week, I'm tackling the seven hills of Edinburgh hike. See you then.